finally arrived for Mount Panorama's round one and two of the first of three semi-finals. There's a lot of numbers there. I'm joined by Harry. G'day viewers. And I'm joined by Gary. Hello race fans. That's the way we're here at Mount Panorama with the tee that's actually fixed on the Bathurst. We're ready to go. We're pumped and excited. And let's have a look at who's racing in our first round. Take it away, Gary. First we have the 1985 Honda CRX at 34 grams. The driver is the Quince and his team is Zelda Diecast Racing. That's the way. And then we have the 22 Rally Special, 37 grams. Driver's Big Keg from Fat Bastard Garage Racing. And then we have our first of our internationals. It's the 2000 Audi S4 Quattro, named the AWR001. It's 51 grams. The driver's JB, the Northern Southerner. The team is Amazing Wrecked Racing. And the builder for this team is Brian from Amazing RC. Links will be in the description for both of those awesome channels. Then we got the 1964 Chevrolet SS weighing at 37 grams. The driver is Greg by... Snake Ridge Racing. Thanks, These Larry. cars are sitting here. They're ready to go. We're all excited about it. Now let's go and check the track temperature. Take it away, Gary. It's 35.6 degrees Celsius and 96 96.6 yeah, That is a hot one. I reckon this racing is going to get hotter than that. We're ready to find out and crown who's going to be king of the mountain. Oh, we're at the top oh. of the mountain right now. Oh. We've got the front end side for the for RC Recreation. He is in pole position. These things are roaring and ready to go. Looks like the uh, Ch Chevelle is in last position. The CRX is leading the pack. Oh! Oh no! Not good for RC Wreck. JB has taken a bit of a pummeling up Conrod Strait. Oh! oh. CRX has slid around the corner. Oh, oh. and that's <laughs> From last to first. Oh, that's amazing uh, he, racing. He's pulling a Larry Perkins there. They're all getting inside each other here. I don't know how the Chevelle did it, but he's being held up by the big keg. And they're all over the back of JB. What happens and what goes wrong with the recreation? Oh. He's bouncing in the side. Yeah. He stops it, him. Yeah, they all get jammed up. Look at the move from the Chevelle. Like, <laughs> How does he know to move out of the way? It's unbelievable. Just two amazing oh, on two moves. wheels. Up on two wheels for the twins. Oh, and he stops there. I think that's the problem. He went on two wheels. Yeah, well, it's t driven by twins, so I guess it's two wheels. <laughs> and here's the and move. Look at that. That's just that's just beautiful. Amazing. It is. That is so nice. That is just driven beautifully by Greg. The fastest lap. 1964 Chevelle at 924. That's the way. The race one results is the 64 Chevelle with five, Honda with three, Audi with one, Special with zero. Well, that's pretty rare for the Special not to get any points in a race, but they are revving their guts out and away they go again. Positions have been rotated. Chevelle at the front now. Yeah, being hunted down by the Special. JB's, oh, he's had a bit of a spin. He's going to show his rearward driving skills here. The twins are trying to keep up. Oh! Oh! He got smashed. Oh, that's a big impact. Oh! <laughs> oh. oh. And that roaring V8 oh, Audi. by Greg has crossed the line with the Audi in second. The Audi just makes it, slowed down, just made it. And that drift by the Chevelle down through Forest Elbow. Here's where it all goes wrong for JB. Jason unfortunately losing in the rear end. JB, you've done it again. <laughs> they probably wouldn't get that reference. Uh, and this speed shot is absolutely amazing. We see him get a little bit loose on a couple of wheels there as well. They're doing that much pace. Oh, look at that drift. Very nice drift. Very nice drift by Greg there. Oh, Special tries to interpret that. He can't. He can't do that. Then the Audi just comes through and just boom. Well, to be fair, he's he's gone backwards after all. So. And Probably look at the uh, Craig's getting rocking and rolling underneath the tire. 
And then the incident between Big Keg and JB. The twins get a little bit of action in there as well. It looks like here that the Audi doesn't doesn't make it through. He slows down and then just makes it. And that drift by uh, Greg through the final corner at Murray's, crossing the line, absolutely spectacular. We've got a new lap race record, new lap record from the 1964 Chevelle with 8.11. That is a quick time. So the Chevelle's on 10, the Audi's on 5, CRX on 4, Special on 2. <laughs> We're back at the top of the mountain. The those revving is so nice. Yes, and Big Kev is in pole position for this run. Down they come. Chevelle's really uh, showing some good pace, and uh, oh, the CRX and the Audi get caught up through the S's. The Chevelle is hunting down the sh the uh, Special. Big Keg, you've got someone on your hammer. Oh. oh! JB loses it through the chase. Special goes across the line. Look how close they are here. And the, uh, the CRX gets right into the door of the Audi. The twins showing no mercy. Look how close Greg is on the hammer of Big Kev. Big Keg trying to get away from him, but he's sticking to him like glue. It's like one big long car coming through here. A bit like a limo. It is. And then unfortunately, JB smashes into the guardrail. The twins give him the tap. Big, big smash though. Both of them get sideways underneath the tire. Well, especially Al makes it through, even he though does. he spun out. He does, Big Kev across the line. And a new lap record. It's the 2022 Special at 809. That is some quick time, beat it by two hundredths. And so it's a Chevy with 14, Honda with four. Six and seven for the rest. Thanks, Larry. That's all right. You got to be quick. And away they go for the fourth and final race of the first round. Oh, the, look this. Chevelle's just swiped right in front and cut off JB. Audi trailing behind. Three are getting some action there in the front. Oh, the oh, twins the have spun overtake. out. Look at that Special overtake. Special Owl's gone. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, no. oh, that is the first time we've seen an action like that up on his side. Look how tight this racing is here. I think that just the size comparison between the Chevelle and the Audi has just muscled his way past. Oh, that's a nice grip. Greg is not mucking around. He is getting dead set serious. That was really close. Wow, I the... thought I thought the Chevelle was going to make it. And look at this again. Another overtake by the Chevelle, not even touching. The other driver just makes it right on the inside. Absolutely spectacular. Here's where the Special slides out and loses it. And coming across. Spins around. But yeah. lucky for him, the Chevelle gets on his side and on the top. It looks like he was just about to make it. He's trying to avoid him. <laughs> he must be devastated about that. <laughs> and then he just got smashed in the back. The twins come in and... And then he, the made it, he made it across the line by a nose. Then everybody else helped him across. But let's have a look at this in ultra slow motion. Up on two wheels. Tries oh. to avoid, again, tries to avoid the other driver. Slides along. Tenth, putting tenth too far. Putting some gravel rash on the side of his wow. vehicle. And then he goes across the line. So it's the Special, all four across the line, an 05, an 08. A 26 and an 03. Then we've got the 64 Chevelle at 18, Special at 12, Audi at 8, and the Honda at 7. So that means the Chevelle, Greg from Snake Ridge Racing, driving the 64 Chevy Chevelle, is moving on to the next round of the semis. Well, good job to Greg from Snake Racing. And then congratulations to... Jeff Speed and Kit Goodyear. Well done for picking the winners, fellas.
That was uh, a rather entertaining race. If that's going to uh, give us some of the uh, action coming up. And there is more action. One race down. 15 more to come. The first round of the semis is still on its way. So what happens now? Let's go to round two. Whoa, double header, fellas and ladies. I'm excited for this. If the if this race is going to be anything like the other one, it's got to be good. The, in, the indications of a very, very strong team. It's what happens when you get all the winners together. It is actually just unbelievable how tight these guys are. We're back at the mountain. We are moving along and let's see who is next. Take it away, Gary. We've got a mad splash, 25 grams. His name is... is driver is Mr. Mojo and from Bathurst Dark Racing. Then we got the 1973 Ford Falcon XB Coupe weighing at 37 grams by Mr. Mojo. The team is Bathurst Dark Racing again. And then we have another international, the 73 Ford Falcon XB. 73 grams. It's driven by Big Keg, Big Kev, not Big Keg. Then we got the 71 Ford Falcon Phase 2. By Big Mike from NZ Racing as well. So there's two teams from Bathurst, Dark Racing, and, and two, two teams from NZ. Well, it is the 2v2 to see who will get it. The track weight is 123.9 degrees Fahrenheit, 51.9 51 51 <laughs> degrees Celsius. It, it's hot. a hot one. It's getting hot in here. So rev up all your engines. This is going to be awesome. What's well, going to happen to the boat with all that heat? <laughs> I think his water's evaporating now. The other cars, cars, the other cars made it heat up from last last round. Yep, the international is in pole position. Big oh. Oh no. It looks like Mr. Mojo oh. and Mr. Mojo have just both rolled over. Two teammates <laughs> smash each other out. And it's Big Kev by himself. Oh. oh. There. It was uh, quite amazing to lose wow. two mojos. We didn't bring their mojo on this one. What happened to the other? What happened to NZ? The first one. Uh, he's there. Well, that's the. Uh, oh. He got caught up. Yeah, the first oh, one there. He's, he's rolled over. Lift. I don't know how he did that. I, he I rolled think he from got the up inside. From the... No, he rolled from the inside out. It's quite amazing. Never and then uh, Big Mike gets caught up with Mr. Mojo. It gives him a bit of a love tap. Oh, that's horrible. When the Mr. Mojo's get caught up. And then the drift from... Absolute wonderful from this New Zealand entrant. Starts to get a bit jumpy through underneath the tyre. But luckily he stuck the <laughs> landing. Excited. He did, he did. And across the line he goes. Wow. Well, the race time is the fastest lap for seven... 73 XP Falcon from NZ Racing. 820 is very, very respectable. So it's five points for the New Zealand uh, NZ Racing. Two points for Mad Splash. One point for Phase Two. Mr. Mojo gets a big fat zero. That is not good. <laughs> Away we go again. Race two. It's all very tight. Everybody's made it through now rather oh, cleanly. No. Uh, they Big Mike and Mr. Mojo getting side by side again, and there's no love lost between these two men. Very good. Wow. Whoa! Oh. Oh. <laughs> there is definitely no love lost between Big Mike and Mr. Mojo. Wow, those teammates, they do not like each other. No. Even though well, they're, they're they opposition. Got, they got the same name, so. Wow. Now it's Big Mike and Mr. Mojo in the. Uh, it's Big Kevin in the um, the New Zealand first New Zealand entrant, and he's just rocking and rolling, being followed closely by Mr. Mojo. Wow. That is so tight. That speed shot is great. You actually see the big hump in the back, which is actually on Mount Panorama down the middle of Conrad Strait. Look at look at when it flips. He loses control. But he stays front on the track. More front wheels. Just airborne. That was some dra great driving by Big Kev. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> he is just... Ha that car is literally having a good time. Yes. 
That is just absolutely fantastic. And then we've got the 73 Falcon from NZ Racing with 914. 814. It was an 814. Eight, very quick. So, so, so the Falcon from NZ Racing is 10. XB Falcon again with 4 and the rest with 3. And here we go again. We've rotated. It is Mr. Mojo in pole position followed by Mr. Mojo. <laughs> two Falcons on the inside as well. Oh! oh no! You cannot fit two into one. I think that was uh, cameraman. He hit into cameraman. Well, the, the replay will show that. But it's Mr. Mojo being followed by Mr. Mojo, and they both get oh. sideways, but cannot make it across the line. Wow, that was. Uh, let's just check that out through the replay. That will reveal what happened. So you've got. Um, they the can't. phase two on in the lead slightly and then gets hit in the rear quarter panel. Oh it just flies. By they big almost Kev. fell off. Luckily they didn't fall off of oh, the mountain. Big Kev and Big Mike, he almost went to the other side, but the other cars you saw him on the other side as well, just going wild as well. They're That's like, a... No, don't go on us. <laughs> Those two saw the like flash before their eyes yeah they they yes yeah they uh would have seen out of their peripheries what was going on and a moment of panic would have set in but mr mojo gets sideways under the tire and they both stop each other wow. so obviously no faster slap because no one crossed the line so it's the nzr xb falcon on 10 the 73 xb falcon on eight mad splash on six and the phase two on four we're back at the top of the mountain again. It's a bit windy. It is absolutely blowing a gale out there, even with that temperature. <laughs> oh, it's oh, done it again. No. Same car the same no, way. different car. This was Mr. Mojo. Mr. Mojo got caught up with the phase two again. He's, he's going through some phases here. But it is mad splash out in the lead. Being followed closely, being hunted down by Big Kev. Oh, he is not going to try and let that boat get out the what? Did I just think I see what happened there? Who made it? Who made it? Come on, <clears throat> give us the goods. Unbelievable. Oh. What an absolute glorious move by Big Kev on the inside of Mr. Mojo and it on was the final, final call of Mur yeah. at Murray's. That was just, wow. that's crazy. That has been some seriously good overtaking through all these races. But once again, two do not fit into one. The XB doesn't like the XY. Flipped him over. So let's see what happened here. The driver's got out of the car. What? It, he's blown a tire. That's what's happened. Oh no. We've got our oh, safety, safety crew oh. doing their usual good work. <laughs> well, it's arguably not good work. All right. What do you reckon, Alan? The thing I hate most is seeing it on that vulture carrier, if you want to know the truth. That, that's really the sad part. I wish they'd leave them on the track, actually. Yeah, we'd like to see that too. But look at this action coming through here. Big Kev is hunting down the mad splash. And as we get right to this corner, he's ed edged up beside him. He's past the middle pillar post, which means it's legal. Gives him the rub on the way past. Only just, just makes it through the end. That is just absolutely terrific. So, faster slaps is NZ Racing with an 816, the Mad Splash with an 821. And we've got the 73 Falcon NZR with 15, 15 points. points. Mad Splash with 10, XB 73 Falcon with 8, and the, the last one. one with 5. So the 73 Ford Falcon is moving on to the next round of semis. Good job, NZ Racing, for that. Congratulations to Paul Springs. Good job, everybody. You're the only guy that called it. That was absolutely spectacular racing. Uh, and with our rule of getting under a certain time, we said eight and a half. It's changed to 8.33 seconds to the Rally Special, and the Mad Splash will not be going away. They'll be coming back for another round of the semifinals. So, Gary, what did you think of that? That was amazing racing. Very exciting. It was absolutely spectacular. And what do you reckon, Harry? It was very hectic out there today. It was, it was crazy. 
Yeah. I it, can't wait for the next round. It, it's really just stepped up a level with these drivers. They're absolutely showing they deserve to be here. Commiserations to JB from uh, the uh, Amazing Recreation team. Unbelievable that you didn't make it through. But I think what we might do is send him to the speed shop and yes. see if we can do some sort of final eliminator round to bring him back because he's a gorgeous car and deserves a second chance, I believe. So anyway... Well, when you put four cars, four fast cars with each other, you're going to get some crazy stuff out there. Absolutely. And unfortunately, he wasn't informed of the, uh, the, the weighting uh, of the vehicles, which more weight needs to be put towards the rear. So I think he, he deserves yes. a, a little bit of a... Uh, ahead to the speed shop so thanks for watching everybody it's been absolutely fabulous and you've been watching Bathurst Diecast Racing, Racing.